So hi everybody, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is Sunday, May 19th at approximately 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you with another little bit of a paint with me. So the whole reason why I kind of wanted to do this was because almost on every cross-stitch group, every diamond painting group, every other group, everybody's pages, everything else <coughs> there is hold on just a minute I've got to um, lower the volume on my my television just a minute hi everybody in diamond painting land this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus Ohio today is Sunday May 19th at approximately 4 35 p.m. I am sitting in my living room most of the other lights are out except for my outlight light that's above my diamond painting and my light pad um, it's kind of a breezy, overcast afternoon here in Columbus. We put our window air conditioner in the windows, um, today in our living room in our kitchen because it's kind of humid out. It's supposed to be in the 80s most of the week and chance of storms and it's humid here in Ohio. So we've got our window air conditioners in, everything's good. The house is starting to cool down and stay at a, you know, pretty decent temperature. Um, I'm currently watching the Women's College World Softball Regionals playoffs um, on ESPN on my TV. Um, so you may occasionally hear something in the background. That's probably what you're hearing. Right now it's Alabama versus Arizona State. Um, if Alabama wins this game, they go on to the semi or the Super Regionals next weekend. If Arizona wins, Alabama and Arizona play another game this afternoon. Um, it's a double elimination tournament. Arizona's lost one. Alabama hasn't lost yet. So um, it's looking like Alabama may pull out a win here and go to Super Regionals. But um, anyway, so just kind of watching Women's College World Series. I actually really like softball. It's one of my favorite things to watch on TV sports-wise. Um, you know, I played softball growing up, but you heard that in my last uh, whip and chat. Anyway, so I'm coming to you today, as you can see in the video camera. Um, this is my Diamond Dots Lulu Llama canvas. So I will kind of show you. So this is my Diamond Dots Lulu Llama. The design size is 32 by 42. The fabric size is 40 by 50. Um, and this is a partial. You can see here the little symbols. You'll have the canvas that shows the background. And then all you diamond paint on this is the llama, which is here. So this is the partial. Most of Diamond Dots um, kits that you can buy at Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and all that are partials. And the whole reason I bought this kit a couple weeks ago at the Hobby Lobby, because I thought she was absolutely really cute. She's a llama. This little tape right here is just some washi tape that I have to hold my clear, my clear cover up and out of the way so it doesn't flop down on me. So that's actually not part of the diamond painting canvas. But <coughs> anyway, all of Diamond Dots kits are partials and they're all round drill. Um, well, there are, I have I have to take that back. Not all of them. I do have a couple full coverage Diamond Dots kits, um, like the Van Gogh cafe uh, sidewalk one that I got a couple weeks ago too but most diamond dots kids <clears throat> excuse me around drills some of them come with ABs this one happens to come with special um, special diamonds that go up here in the um, in the uh, little neck thing but these are the um, little red drills, or little red crystals that actually go up here in these big circles that are up here. You can't really see them now. But yeah, so this one actually has little specialty crystals that go up there. Um, anyway, um, those of you that have watched my, hold, give me just a minute. I actually have to pause and check on something. So if you give me just a minute, let me check. So I was just kind of going to YouTube to make sure that my um, <clears throat> Diamond Paint With Me video that I recorded yesterday actually uploaded, and it certainly did. So anyway, um, I'm coming to you today because 
I kind of wanted to show my llama a diamond painting. And I'm getting started with this today because A, I kind of got to a, a very good stopping point or to a point where I can no longer finish my Princess Mononoke one because I'm waiting on some missing drills. I'm gonna adjust this camera just a little bit. There we go. You can see my, my storage system here. I'm doing this um, Elizabeth Ward storage system for all of my drills. This set here is actually my Diamond Dots collection for all the Diamond Dots drills that I am collecting for the kits that I have. So these are all my Diamond Dots drills. You can see I have them, sorry about the glare on that. You can see I actually have them labeled with all the Diamond Dots four digit codes. Diamond Dots does not use their own, um, or Diamond Dots uses their own proprietary numbering system for their uh, drills. So they are not color coded like um, DMC. Whoops, that just went down. Great. So they are not coded like the um, normal uh, diamond painting kits that you buy from other companies with a DMC number. Diamond Dots uses their own proprietary um, color, uh, numbering system for their drills. So, um, anyway, so I have all my, my drills stored in the colors. The color that I'm doing right now is the, um, the dot right here. Um, you can't see it. It's a little dot symbol, which happens to be uh, Diamond Dots code 8394, which is this uh, kind of cream, uh, creamy beige color. And it's mainly in the um, the fur of the llama. But anyway, so as I was saying, you know, Diamond Dots uses their own proprietary thing. Now, the one thing about Diamond Dots, um, I had contacted them a little while ago. You probably heard me talk about this on one of my more recent videos. But I had contacted them a little while ago because I noticed that on their canvases here, they list the four digit. I don't, I'm not going to be able to get this close enough so you can see. But they do list their four digit Diamond Dots um, number code on their legends for, for their canvases. Um, they're starting to do that more and more. Their old kits never used to have that four digit code. Um, but now they're starting to do that with, on, with all their new kits and their newly printed kits. Um, they have indicated to me when I reached out that reached out to them to see if I could get the four digit color codes for one of the older kits that I had that didn't have it. They reached out to me and um, they actually sent me the PDF file of the um, the color code uh, legend for that particular kit, which was really nice of them. I really appreciated the, the fact that they were able, willing to send me that. But they also indicated that sometime soon they will um, be providing the opportunity to purchase their drills separately. So pretty soon, I don't they didn't say when, but they said pretty soon a new thing on their website is going to be where you can actually go and purchase the Diamond Dodge drills by themselves. And they're also going to have a color chart which shows their four digit code and the color that it corresponds to. And I don't know if that's going to include a DMC conversion. I can't remember if that's what they said they were going to do is um, provide a conversion from their four digit code to the DMC codes. That would be awful, awful nice if they did that. But anyway, so going back to this diamond painting. So those of you that watched my drill with me yesterday know that um, I was having really, really, ch I was getting frustrated with that diamond painting, the Princess Mononoke one, because um, I'd ordered it from Huacan back in late 2017. Before all the problems with who it can was uh, coming to light with popping drills, missing drills, bad canvases, you know, all that stuff. And um, so I was just kind of getting frustrated with this Princess Mononoke because, you know, I'd ordered, a, I'd ordered two, set, two orders of drills, actually, for this one because I was running out of drills. And I'd already, you know, borrowed um, drills for this one from some other kits that I had on hand. And um, I'm still getting really bad popping drills. It's not as bad. Um, one of the things I did get today was I got some Tombow Aqua Glue to seal the painting with. So when I get those, the two colors that I had to order that I was running really low on and couldn't finish, um, when I get that order from Stitches to Stones in a couple of weeks and I can finish the diamond painting, I'm actually going to 
seal it with Tombow Aqua Glue to keep. Oh, sorry, guys. To keep the um, popping drills at bay until I can frame it. So I did pick up some Tombow Aqua Glue. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be watching some videos and seeing if I can get some tutorials on the best way to seal a diamond painting using the Tombow Aqua Glue. So. Those of you that are have been in on Facebook in the last say 10 days or so, there's been a lot of drama going on in cross stitching groups, diamond painting groups, just in general. Obviously, you know, political, um, religious, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, there's just been some really nasty drama floating around, especially in some of the cross stitch Facebook groups, diamond painting Facebook groups, and even here on YouTube with some of the diamond painters and some of the cross stitchers that I follow and subscribe to. There has been a ton of drama in about the last 10 days. And we're, we're talking like, you know, butthurt drama. Yes, I did use the word butthurt. Butthurt drama where somebody says something, somebody else gets offended and blasts them completely out of the water. And then everybody chimes in, blasts everybody else, and it just turns into one big drama fest. You know, um, Facebook groups have uh, split because of some of the drama. Um, people have left groups, people have lost friends. It's just been crazy and I don't really understand it. So I decided that since I decided yesterday that since I was having such issue with my um, popping drills on that, I was going to pull out my Diamond Art Club for Seasons Tree. That is a small f square full drill. Oh. Sorry, that is a small that is um, a smaller uh, square full drill canvas that I picked up from Diamond Art Club a couple months ago, and it's the Four Seasons tree. Those of you, a lot of you have seen it. It's the one where the, there's a tree up this way and a tree flip back down this way, and you split them in half in quarters basically, and you got spring, summer, fall, winter, and it's one you know basically like a tree reflected up and down, and it's the Four Seasons. It's it's really neat painting. I really liked it. It's so far, it's my one and only Diamond Art Club painting that I got. And I got it when they were advertising the free diamond painting just get shipping thing on Facebook. I clicked on the link and ordered one. So that was my first, oh joy, Arizona State just tied up the game. So anyway, um, that was my first Diamond Art Club painting. And I dug that out, worked on it for a little bit yesterday, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just really sick of square. Let me just pull out Diamond Dot, a Diamond Dots kit, one of the smaller ones. It's a partial, and you know it won't take me very long to finish because they they do these Diamond Dots kits do um, work out pretty quick, especially since they're round. You know they're not as uh, you don't have to be nearly as precise with them as you do with other things. So anyway, I walked back into my craft room, took a look at my Diamond Dots kits, and I was like, perfect. I'm gonna do my drama llama but this is my no drama llama you guys because how could you have drama with this cute little face she is so cute so this is lulu llama this is from diamond dots um it's you know a kit that sold at michael's i found this one at hobby lobby so here is the here is the box Look at that face, you guys. Isn't that just adorable? How can you how can you have drama in your life when you have Lulu Llama on your wall? She's just so cute. So it's Lulu Llama. And you can see it's the Diamond Dots kit. So Diamond Dots, Lulu Llama. She is just like utterly and totally adorable. So I just decided that I would work on my no drama llama. No drama Lulu Llama. This is my no drama Lulu Llama. I actually need to come up with some way, like over here in this corner, down here, you can see it's all just the um, the painted background. So the only thing that you diamond paint on here is the llama. 
I need to come up with some sort of sign or something that I could put up here is no drama Lulu Llama or no drama llama because she's going to be my no no drama llama. I'm going to be working on her just to you know keep keep my drama at bay and just to make me smile a little because all my all my groups and everything have been making me just really kind of sad and really kind of depressed because everybody's getting butt hurt and uh, nobody's taking a break and just kind of stepping away and being adult about everything. Everybody's just reacting and uh, saying things that hurt other people and it's just really not very fun. Um, so I'm taking a little break and I'm working on my No Drama Llama Lulu Llama from Diamond Dots and this is what I'm going to be working on. So that being said I figured I'd just kind of sit here and start my No Drama Llama and talk with you a little bit. I'm actually going to be starting here from the bottom and working up. Um, I actually should. Actually, you know what? That's actually a good point. Um, let me pause for a minute because I want to get something out for for you and kind of show you. Um, maybe I can use it on here and kind of show you what to do. All right. Let me pause for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay. So, hi everybody. It's me again. I actually decided to dig out one of my um, little placer tools for round drills. Um, this one is uh, special in the fact that it has... Um, a 141 millimeter size side as you can see there it has a 141 millimeter side and then it has a 140 millimeter side um, there are two basically two sizes of diamond dot cam or not diamond dot canvases but just round drill canvases in particular um, and it ba it's based on how the diamonds are spaced so, basically, the way you determine, determine it, now, I don't know if this isn't going to give me centimeters. So, this is just pretty much inches. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, basically, I'm going to use this one because you might be able to see it a little better. This might not be an exact measurement, but we have the centimeters here. We have the centimeters here on this ruler on this side it's the smaller numbers so basically what you do is you um, kind of put say you find a line that has 50 this is gonna stick so you kind of put your um, thing there and you kind of go across and um, You kind of go across and you figure, you know, um, this one is, so you look at where your um, drill stop. And this one stops at 41. It kind of stops at the 41 centimeter. You're not going to be able to see this, but basically, like at 41, so at 141, you know, that's kind of where you stop. Um, the 140 millimeter is actually going to stop right on the um, right on the actual line. But this one, when I'm looking at it, stops at just over, just over 141, or just over 140. Yeah. Well, this one might be 140. I don't know, but anyway. So I have the I have the two um, diamond placers, and I take this off my canvas, hopefully without. Come on. Wow, this is really sticking, you guys. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Wow, this is really sticking. there. 
There we go. So I didn't pull off. Yeah, it's still it's still pretty sticky. All right, good. Anyway, so I just kind of thought that I would pull this off and um, take a look at it. I'm just trying to figure out which one, which side is the best for this. That looks to be a little off to me. Yeah, it's not that one. That one's a little off. So it's not the 141 millimeter. It's the 140 millimeter. Um, yeah, it's the 140 millimeter that I'm looking at for this. So I'm actually just going to kind of place this down over my drill field down here get it lined up I don't really need this for the rounds but I'm just going to use it just to kind of show you what how this kind of kind of works okay so I have my I have my placer tool um me just a minute I actually have to plug my laptop back in before my laptop battery dies give me just a minute you guys all right Sorry about that. There we go. It's plugged in. All right. So I have my little placer grid thing um, here for you. Um, there's no easy way for me to pop this off so I can actually bring you down, but I will actually lift this up so you can actually see it. So this is the placement sorry but the um so this is the placement of the tool the laying tool there you go so hopefully it'll help you lay your um lay your diamonds a little straighter um we shall see how it works Alrighty, here we go. Like I said, I'm doing the dot, which is eighty three ninety four. All right, all right. The nice thing about the this placer also is the fact that um, it kind of gives you that same popping noise when you put your drills onto the canvas. It'll give you that same popping noise. Um, as you're placing your drills that you get with the squares. When you do the checkerboard pattern with square, square drills, it'll give you that same kind of popping noise. Yeah. So. Those of you that really like the popping noise with square drills, if you um, kind of miss that with your with your round drills, and you're not getting that, you can get one of these placer tools, and you'll sk still get a little bit of the pop popping noise when you place your drills. So, yeah. And I'm using for this diamond dots kit. I am using the 140 millimeter side for this diamond dots kit. Now I'm not saying that your Diamond Dots Lulu Llama kit, you would use the same size of placer, but I am using 
the 140 millimeter placer with this Diamond Dots kit. You can use this with full rounds or partial rounds, whatever you're working on. Um, they do not make these placers for square drills because with square drills there is not supposed to be any spacing between the drills. The drills are supposed to butt up really close right next to each other. So you're not going to get the ability to have a placer where it will center your drill in the square because each drill is butted up against each other. So there is no room for you to put a spacer like this on a square um, canvas, on a square drill canvas. So you're not going to be able to actually use the um, a placer to evenly space your drill, square drills and line them up correctly. Your best bet if you want to get your drills lined up on a um, square canvas, especially a full drill squ square canvas, is to use some sort of ruler or a credit card or something with a rigid straight edge that you can butt your drills up against as you're working. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Once I get this row done, I'm actually going to move on to the next color. I'm actually just going to do this section here with you and then move on. Do, 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 do. So. I don't really have much else to say. I could finish the tag, but um, I could finish the diamond painting tag I started yesterday, but I just kind of want to concentrate on this little area first. So I'm using the placer. This is my double-sided placer. Um, I'm using the 140 millimeter side. I, this side down here is actually 141 millimeters. There is a way to measure your canvas to determine what placer you would use. All right, so I've got that color down. Um, right in here is the next color T. There's only three of them, so I'm going to do that one next. I'm going to go ahead and um, put these drills back away. Uh-huh. Hey. Did we ever get any rain? I don't know. Alright, so on to the next next little color. My husband's opening the door. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's going outside to check the rain. I'm going to leave this color out because I'm going to use it in the next area. So I'm looking at T. T is 8011. 8011 is this really pretty peach color. It's really pretty. And I only need three drills, so I think I'll just work kind of out of here for this. So... There's one. Two, three. Okay. Those are the three for that one. And then this last color is the um, 8411, which is the um, next more, most prevalent color in here, which is this really pretty kind of white color. So I'm going to put some in here.
shake it out. And there's a straggler. Do to do. Yeah, we have a straggler. Sorry about that. Talked to my husband for a little bit. Anyway, um, so just kind of plugging along here with the white. This is kind of an interesting game. It's top of the seventh. Alabama's ahead. Arizona's nine to eight. Top of the seventh, and the bases are loaded. It's really kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> the score has been going back and forth and back and forth. going on but yeah there's just too much drama going on which is why I started my drama llama today there's just way too much other stuff going on so once I get done with this area I will actually show you pulling this up So you can see how how it pulls up. Sometimes you will get drills that pull up with the placer, but they're easy enough to stick back down. Because you have the snapping thing and they're fitting right in the hole, um, most of them should stay down. Yeah, it's just, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Hopefully none of you out there have been caught up in the drama. and then I'm ready to pull off the placer or the spacer for you. Alright. So now we're ready to kind of move the spacer. So you can see that I have that whole area filled in with drills and so now we're going to actually move the spacer so basically you know you just kind of pull it on up Okay, maybe this isn't working out so well. Come on, you. 
All right, this isn't working out so well, you guys. Because ah. this is sticking super well to this, and most of the drills did not stick to the canvas, as you can see. Well, all right. This was an experiment that didn't work out so well. Come on. I'm going to take out my big tray here. Kind of stick this up under here. So some of the drills did stick, some of the drills popped off. So here's my placer. You can see some of the drills are still stuck in there. Some of the drills actually did really stick to the canvas really well though, but yeah, some of them did not. So I'm just probably not going to be using this all that overly much to space out my round drills because, well, <laughs> I think it's more of a hassle. It's going to be more of a hassle than it's worth, so there you go. Those of you that have used these. Alright, so I'm using my big tray. I've got to pop these drills that are in here. You can see those drills that are stuck. I'll pop those drills out. That's about annoying. I got those out. Now I need to replace them. So 8394 is the cream one and it's the dot. Hopefully that didn't harm the drills. So I will put these back on the dots. And see where I'm at. So I guess I will not be using the placer, even though it does really make them line up really nicely. Holy moly, they line up so nicely with that. Yeah. Holy moly. Sorry about that, you guys. Well, it's kind of disappointing that that didn't work out very well. I guess maybe I have to place them down on the canvas a little harder if I'm going to use these placers. There's one missing. Is that over here? There we go. And now I'm going to fill back in all the white. So I guess my no drama llama actually had a little drama of her own. <laughs> Funny. Oh well. 
that was drama of my own making, not of hers. So, I guess she's excused. And this is that super large tray that I got um, from AliExpress a couple weeks back. Seems like all the College World Series games today are uh, on a weather delay now. The uh, Alabama-Arizona game, they're in the seventh inning, Alabama's ahead 9-8 to eight over Arizona and it's like raining so they're pulling the tarp over the field. So seems like everybody's in a weather delay this weekend. Yeah, just filling this back in with all the drills that popped up when I pulled off the spacer. doorknob going on okay? Mm -hmm. Yay. I need to replace the bathroom doorknob. Because the old one, the mechanism on the inside wouldn't release the uh, little latch that sticks in the door jam. The little uh, piece that keeps the door closed. Um, yeah, it was stuck in the closed position, so we actually had to unhinge the door to get it open. And, uh... But not before her husband smashed the internal workings. Yeah, my husband, like, Dylan, he's usually pretty good about stuff, but, you know, sometimes we just have to, um, figure out what's going on. So, yeah. I'm almost done retooling this, and once I'm done, I'll call it a day. Um, I'm going to have to practice with that placer to see, like, maybe if I can find some videos on how to how they recommend getting it off your canvas once you've used it, because, uh, yeah, that was kind of a, a disaster. All right, so I got the place, I got the drills placed back on the canvas now. Uh, I will show you. But they do, um, the spacer does actually make them space out and line up very, very well. Oh, there's one that fell on the canvas the wrong side on there. Let's see if I can flip that over. Flip it, flip it, and set it back down the right way. There we go. There we go. But that's the top of her ear. This is Lulu Lama, the Lulu Lama, the no drama llama. She had a little bit of drama. But if that's all the drama that we have to deal with, then that's really great. But there you go. All right, guys. I just kind of wanted to come to you with a little bit of a paint with me. That was 45 minutes. I didn't expect it to be that long. All right, so anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Um, just keep on keeping on. Um, that's all we can do. Take care. Don't let the drama get to you. And please, be adults. 
and just scroll on by if you find something offensive or something that you don't want to look at or something that you know you know that you have a different opinion please don't comment please don't start drama because that's part of the problem don't get butt hurt and think that you have to defend yourself um, just be adult and scroll on by um, there's no need to cause waves and cause problems for everybody else so um, if you disagree state your disagreement and then just be done with it don't just say I disagree with that or whatever you don't have to elaborate you don't have to call names you don't have to yell out if you leave just go ahead and leave um, if you haven't subscribed just go ahead and unsubscribe um, people don't really care anyway so that's all I gotta that's all I gotta say so I will catch you guys later until my next video take care and um, happy diamond painting <laughs>